few more days. I know. We'll be on our way to contentment. Hey folks, E Chip and Robber. I uh, want to give you an update on our progress. It is farther into the summer than we anticipated uh, before we get out to contentment. But uh, we were put behind by uh, Dinah and her issues. Um, as you've seen in our last published video, Dinah is running and uh, we're going to be able to take her out to contentment. She's not going to be quite ready for what we need, but uh, we'll have to spend a little bit more time working on her. Her work's not, we're not done, you know, getting her ready, but at least she's moving under her own power and uh, we can go. Uh, so the plan is next uh, Wednesday, June 19th to load Dinah uh, and just about everything else we can fit onto a 40 foot flatbed trailer and head out to contentment for the summer. And uh, so we are really looking forward to that. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned. We've got videos uh, planned uh, for you and um, hope you can stick around and watch. I am going to do a series of videos for the true novice um, on doing some building framing, I guess. I put myself in charge of building the, what are we gonna call it? Superintendent's shack. Temporary <laughs> building superintendent's shack. Mm -hmm. Or shouse, as I'm calling it. Yeah, shouse. <laughs> but, and I'm gonna put a series of videos together about that. So for really true novices, because I am a true novice and I don't know all of the terminology and all of the um, details and lingo. So that's what I plan to do. It'll be fun. But uh, I, 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 hope, I hope our viewers can appreciate what we're doing. I know it sounds interesting, you know, we're going off grid and things like that, but please understand that flatbed trailer is about to dump a backhoe and crates an IBC totes off on a raw piece of land with no shelter on it. No nothing on it. There's nothing there. It's going to drop us off on it and we are going to start from scratch um, on an off-grid homestead. It's going to take a long time to do and uh, I mean projecting years here but this is our start. You know I think about uh, off-grid with Doug and Stacy and how Doug says he built their cabin in 90 days and you know things like that which was cool unfortunately their journey on YouTube begins after that was done so uh, I guess the advantage here uh, to any viewers who are interested in in learning how this is done is seeing us do it from the very beginning with absolutely nothing uh, except just a bunch of stuff dropped off in the middle of nowhere on crates and uh, beginning from scratch. As you can see, we've got Buzz behind us. Buzz is here. Uh, we moved Buzz off of location two and we're um, uh, tuning him up, getting him ready to go out to contentment. Uh, we do have a little problem and that is my pickup truck has decided to die. Um, you may remember if you watched an earlier video on the oil change we did on it, that it was burning oil and it finally got so bad that uh, going down the road it was losing losing power well and the engine has 230,000 miles on it it's been a good truck i bought it new and when i bought it and this is uncharacteristic for me because i generally don't buy warranties but for whatever reason i thought i'm going to buy a warranty a, a, a good price on a bumper to bumper warranty was offered through chrysler when i bought it and so i bought it and now uh, it gets to pay off. And so the truck is getting a brand new engine, not a rebuilt engine, but a brand new engine. And so I guess, you know, 10 years ago when I purchased that pickup, I'm glad I bought the warranty because a new engine for that truck now would be $6,000 and I paid nothing near that for the warranty. So I'm happy about that, but that means we have to come back and switch vehicles and things like that because uh, it'll take some time to get the truck rebuilt. Anyway, we have a car and we have Buzz for electricity and we'll have Dinah for moving earth such as she can right now and stuff like that. So don't fear for us. We're going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we will be living primitively and you will get to see it. I mean, we'll be in a tent for, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks until this little shelter, temporary shelter is built. Uh, and then we'll be occupying that during the summer while we do things like dig a well, dig a septic, 
um, and install septic, those kinds of things, hopefully before winter hits. So we've got a um, we've got a really tight schedule, even tighter now by the delays. City noises, cars, jets, it's all the time. It's a large military airport. Yeah, it is. Anyway, as I said, we'll be loading a flatbed on Wednesday the 19th. And uh, any of you who are in the local area, uh, those of you who follow our channel may know where we're at. Uh, if so, and you're interested on in uh, helping us load up and seeing us off, why, please just leave a note in the comments and uh, we'll arrange to get together or something. But that'd be great to see uh, any of you who want to uh, join us. And we look forward to this next exciting chapter uh, in our journey toward off-grid homesteading. And so uh, thank you for catching us, stick with us, and um, so that's it. That's what I got. How about you, Robert? He's long-winded. Sorry. <laughs> what did you want to say? I said it. I just want, I just want to show that I'm going to build, I'm going to try to do this temporary shelter a lot on my own. I know I'm not going to be able to do it all on my own. But that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. You do great. But anyway, yep, we're about to get started. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Catch you later.